Yes, I'm right here in front of where you would likely see those driverless trucks along Highway 71 between Springdale and Rogers. And I spoke to a University of Arkansas research professor and he wonders just how much AI is impacting our economy. To me, it's sort of, it's interesting just in the past year, say with ChatGPT, about what jobs all of a sudden look like, you know, they're the most, um, the first things to be automated. With Tyson joining companies like Walmart in the driverless trucking industry, this professor wants to know not only the jobs that are taken away, but also the ones created. It's harder to think about the jobs that are created to support this technology and are those jobs that truck drivers can substitute into. You know, can you go from um, a long haul truck driver to a support spe specialist for long haul trucking operations? So we take the driver out of the truck and that's a big expense, you know, for, um, for shippers or for trucking companies, right? But then what do you have to have to replace, right? Is it, do you have to have more uh, logistics maintenance specialists? Do you have to have um, all of a sudden more um, crews um, in different parts of the country, right, ready to service these trucks? Baltrop says he understands the economic benefit from AI controlled trucks. You know, on the other side is that you have well, how can consumers benefit? And if it lowers the cost and increases trucking capacity uh, the way a lot of people think it, that it might, you know, then you see the cost of goods kind of economy wide going down. Um, and so consumers benefit from that. However, he believes there are strong benefits to having human drivers. One of the things uh, that's nice about um, the trucking industry, or nice might be the wrong way to put it, uh, but you have the truck and the vehicle kind of paired together, right? So there's always a driver, right, that can do things to the truck. Um, you know, with autonomous trucks is that all of a sudden you don't have that person on the site um, anymore. And so what does that look like? As of right now, Tyson Foods only has one AI-controlled truck out on the road, but they told me within the next several weeks, three more will be released. Live in Rogers, Katani Gooch, 4029 News.